Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a super exciting review for you guys. If you guys haven't seen it all over YouTube already, this is gonna be a review and first impression on the new Fenty concealer and the new Fenty setting powder. I am so excited to try these. You guys know that I have reviewed Fenty products before. I absolutely love them. Riri is just killing it and She's just doing it. Like, I'm just so proud and so excited to try these products out for you guys. I did purchase these maybe four or five days ago, so I haven't touched them and I'm super anxious to try these out. So if you guys are interested in seeing how these products work, how the quality is, and how I like them, then before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It helps me out to let me know what you guys are loving on my channel. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Okay, you guys, so here it is. I did a little shopping spree and went and bought the new concealer and the new setting powder. Again, I'm so excited. So let's just jump right into it. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And this is what the packaging looks like. Of course, it's the same packaging that she has on the other products that she carries. Um, I love it. Let's just open it up. I ended up getting the shade Butter. Now they do have a selection of, I believe, 10 setting powders, which is awesome. So this is what we're working with. And it's just, honestly, it's so bougie. It's so luxurious. I love the packaging. You have the classic filter here, and then it has the, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has the FB. Fenty Beauty logo on the inside, and then it's just like a glass plastic, I guess it's plastic uh, container inside. This, is, this retails for $34, I believe, and this is 0 0.98 fluid ounces, which I believe is pretty standard for setting powders. The next products I got, I actually ended up getting two concealers because I wanted to use one to highlight and I wanted to also try it out for uh, contour. So I ended up picking up the shade for the highlight. I went with 185. Now, if you guys don't know this, she came out with 50 different shades. Yeah, 50 shades. Isn't that crazy? Like, I just think that's so amazing. Honestly, yeah, with 50 shades, I'm, I'm sure you'll find your shade. So that's pretty awesome. It's really inclusive and just amazing. I'm actually wearing right now the Fenty Pro Filter um, foundation. I'm in the shade 220. So what they've done is they've kind of made the shades. So the number of the foundation that you are, you'll go ahead and pick the same number for the concealer. So that's gonna be you know, a shade that's they think is compatible with the foundation that you have on. Um, if you're someone like me and you like to highlight, um, I would definitely recommend you guys go lower, but it's a great baseline to know whether you wanna move down or whether you wanna move up uh, some shades. So I think that that's pretty cool. It helps you kind of guide around, you know, there's so many shades, so it kind of gives you a guide on, you know, what's gonna match your um, foundation. And then for the uh, contour shade, I ended up getting the shade 420. This is what they look like. Again, it's really like a mini version of the foundation and I love the foundation packaging. So this is just really nice and sleek and clean and I just love it. Before we get started, I'm gonna read you guys the claims for each product just to know that we're, what we're working with and what to expect out of these products. The concealer, it claims to be a creamy long wear case proof liquid concealer that delivers light as air medium to full coverage in a groundbreaking range of 50 shades. Um, that are soft matte, so that's awesome. Whether you're hiding bags and blemishes or hangovers and bad decisions, your secret's safe with Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. The full coverage cure to living life to the fullest. Pro Filter is the closest thing to retouch your skin in reality. This creamy light as air soft matte concealer easily builds to full coverage, instantly brightens your under eyes, concealing blemishes and dark spots and reducing redness. So guys, that just sounds like a bunch of goodness to me, so I hope that this is exactly what this concealer is gonna do. I'm just gonna read to you guys what the um, setting powder claims to do. So this one is called the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Okay, so the setting powder is claims to be a super fine weightless loose setting powder curated in eight sheer shades, sorry, I said 10, so there's eight sheer shades to perfect and extend makeup wear for that filtered photo ready finish on lock. So that's awesome. I already have the 220 foundation on my skin. I already love this foundation, so that's just a given. I hope that the concealer is gonna meet those expectations. So here we go. Ok 
beginning, I'm just gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and blend this all out. You guys, so, whoa. Like, I am, first of all, it blends out so nicely and so easily. I am, I do like this brightness. I know some of you may think that like, whoa, that's super light, but I like it nice and highlighted like this. Um, it honestly is, feels so weightless. I wouldn't say that it's a full coverage concealer. I would say you have to build it up to um, a fuller coverage. But if you're someone who likes just really like not a lot of coverage under your eyes or with your concealer. I think this is one application is like perfect for you. And I think it already just does a really good job covering up the redness or any kind of darkness that I have underneath my eyes. So yeah, I am loving it so far. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit more underneath my eyes here just to get a little bit more coverage right where I have those dark spots. just around my nose here where I get really red. And I also wanna see how it builds up as well, so let's see. Guys, I forgot to use the brush, so let me use the brush for this second application. I'm going in with the Morphe M173 brush. See, like, it blends out, but I'm not a huge fan of blending it out with a brush, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off with my Beauty Blender. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the contour shade. Again, this is in shade 420, and I'm just gonna apply this to all the spots that I contour. So I'm just gonna grab my Beauty Blender and just buff that out. Okay guys, I don't know what you guys are seeing on your end, but when I'm looking in the camera, it just looks really flawless. So I am pretty impressed with this so far. We're gonna see how this sets. Of course, I'm gonna be doing a wear test so that you guys can see how this wears throughout the day and really judge if you guys are liking this. I'm just gonna blend out any of the creases. Okay guys, wow. That looks really nice to me. I feel like everything is kind of blurred out. I don't see any of my pores. Let me zoom you guys in. So I'm not seeing any of my pores here, which is amazing. And I do have some pores here on my forehead and I'm not seeing any of them. Wow, I am really liking that. I do like the shade because again, I do like a brighter under eye. I feel like I could go probably one shade darker, which is banana. So, wow guys, like I am loving it. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna wear out throughout the day and if it's gonna last and how my oils are gonna kind of work with this powder. So right now, if I had to choose one product to get, if I was only getting one product, it would probably definitely be the setting powder. I think that this is really worth your money. It is probably probably one of my favorite setting powders that I have in my makeup uh, collection right now. I think that this is flawless. It just looks really good. So we're gonna do a flash photography test. What I am gonna do before that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my face and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and finished off the rest of my face. I actually do love how all the products work together 
and it's just looking really, really nice. It blended out really nicely with my um, my bronzer, my blush, and all that stuff. So I really do love how it's looking right now. The real test is going to be, first of all, the flash test, and secondly, the long wearing um, effect of this concealer and powder. Right now, if I had to tell you to go and get one of these products, it would still definitely be the powder. I do think that it has really blurred out my pores and just is making me look really like full filtered, which I love and I think that that's awesome. So we're gonna do the flash photography test. I'm gonna turn off my light and I'm gonna put my flash on my phone. All right, so I have no ring light on, just natural lighting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a flash picture. There's no flash reflex, um, so it does pass, pass the flash photography test. Um, I am obsessed. Like, it looks so good in pictures. That's an A plus for flash photography, which, thank God, because if that was not going to work out, obviously I can't use these products because we are always taking pictures and stuff like that. So, it is currently 2.56, so 3 o'clock. I'm going to check back in with you guys at around... I'm just going to go about my day and I'll check with you guys um, in a few hours just to see how this is holding up and how it's wearing on my face and yeah guys so stay tuned for the check-in and I'll see you guys in a minute alright All right, guys so I'm back it is currently 7 o'clock and I have been wearing this for roughly 4 hours it looks pretty good to me I think it's held up the test of time the concealer seems to have pretty much stayed in place and look identical to what it did when I applied it I don't see any extra oils. I think maybe I'm a little bit shiny in my cheek area, but nothing out of the ordinary. So I do really like these products. Again, if I had to choose one, I would choose the setting powder for sure. I think that it's worth your money more than the concealer. Um, and yeah, that's it. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to subscribe down below and give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one.